Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you Lloyd Nicholas Trefferton with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Science honoris causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree was taken on the grounds of the following considerations. With an astonishing body of work, esteemed mathematical scientist Professor Lloyd Nicholas Trefetten has advanced the global popularization of mathematics. For over 30 years, he has also keenly supported numerical mathematics in South Africa, contributing to a scarce skill the country desperately needs. Having obtained his first degree in applied mathematics, summa cum laude, from Harvard College, and his master's degree and doctorate from Stanford, Trefetten spent two years at the well-known Courant Institute at New York University as a postdoctoral fellow of the United States National Science Foundation. Following positions at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and Cornell University, he accepted a professorship at Oxford University in the United Kingdom, where he continues to break new ground as head of the numerical analysis group. The contributions of his unofficial global guardian of numerical mathematics encompass over 100 research papers, eight books, and multiple practical innovations. These include a 1993 paper on hydrodynamic stability published in the Journal of Science, which has garnered more than 1,500 citations, and his numerical linear algebra, which has become the standard postgraduate text in the field since it appeared in 1997. Moreover, numerous scholars have benefited from the convenience and computational power offered by his ambitious Chepfun project, an open source add-on to the state-of-the-art commercial computational package, MATLAB. Unlike many of his peers, Trefetten also regularly ventures beyond the confines of his field into areas such as physics and health science, where he challenges conventional wisdom with novel insight. One example is his mathematical analysis of the Faraday cage, the phenomenon that shields microwaves from exciting the gridded window of a microwave oven while allowing light waves to do so. Perhaps the most dramatic example is his redefinition of the body mass index as a measure of obesity in humans, which made international headlines. Generously sharing his expertise, he has established an enduring relationship with South Africa supporting budding mathematical scientists countrywide. Apart from welcoming our scholars abroad, Trefetten has also become a regular visitor to our shores, from a strenuous national two-week lecture tour to a number of visits to Salambosch as an active participant in the symposium of the South African Society for Numerical and Applied Mathematics. He is known for making a special effort to engage with our academics and students alike. Honours bestowed on Trefetten include his election as a Fellow of the Royal Society, the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, as well as the American Mathematical Society. Prestigious awards such as the 2013 Naylor Prize for the London Mathematical Society and the 2017 George Poelai Prize for Exposition in the Mathematical Writing speak volumes about his stature. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, I hereby request you to confer the degree Doctor of Science, Sonoris Causa, on Lloyd and Nicholas Trefetten for his remarkable scholarship and his astonishing body of work advancing the global popularization of mathematics for challenging, con for challenging conventional wisdom with novel insight and for gener generously sharing his expertise over 30 years to help cultivate a new generation of mathematical scientists on the African continent. Mr. Vice-Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I am so glad to be here on this joyous occasion. I'm going to talk a little about mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> mathematics is a study not tied to space or time. 
It's practiced in Africa, in Australia, in Europe, in Asia, in America. It's being done today. It was done a thousand years ago. It was done 2,000 years ago. The discoveries of each era build on those of the last. The direction of travel is always forward, never backward, not even sideways. Mathematics forms the foundation of the whole enterprise of science and engineering, and it affects society in pervasive and unexpected ways. For example, in England, we have Oxford and Cambridge. Now, who's the most famous Cambridge scholar of all time? Well, surely it's Isaac Newton, a mathematician, also a pretty good physicist. How about at Oxford? I think for many years the answer was probably Lewis Carroll who wrote Alice in Wonderland. He was an outstanding mathematician, one of the best at Oxford. That's what he was. And it's not a coincidence. The mathematical way of thinking led to the kind of universality of those books that made them so remarkable. Now there is unfortunately since they made the Lord of the, Ring move, Lord of the Rings movies, I think uh, Tolkien has taken over and he wasn't a mathematician. <laughs> so I have loved mathematics since I was a child and by age 19, I knew that I wanted to do mathematics of the numerical kind. So if there's anything distinctive about me, it's that I've been lucky enough to be able to spend my life exploring this subject as both an experimentalist and a theoretician. In numerical mathematics, you can devise an experiment in one hour and then carry it out in the next hour. And ultimately, you can pin it down with a completely rigorous theorem and proof. And this is pretty much how I've spent the last 45 years. Some of my happiest interactions over the years have been with colleagues here at Stellenbosch, including Ben Herbst, Andre Wedemann, and my former Oxford student, Nick Hale, who is now an associate professor in applied mathematics with a view of Stellenbosch Mountain out his office window. So in this enormous world, South Africa is truly one of the captivating places and in South Africa, I don't think anywhere is more beautiful than Stellenbosch. I want to thank you all for the extraordinary honor of allowing me to be here today. <laughs>